This is what I call a POS alert, a piece of you know what. Um, you remember our dear brother Eric Gardner who was killed? Remember that? Remember he told the cops, I can't breathe? Remember that? If you don't remember, let me remind you, here it is. The video was seen by millions, Garner being arrested for illegally selling cigarettes last July. Forced to the ground, repeatedly telling police he couldn't breathe. Moments later, the 43-year-old father of six was dead. The medical examiner ruled it a homicide, caused in part by neck compression or what the report calls a chokehold. Yeah, they murdered him right down the street. And you saw it, everybody saw it, millions saw it. The man said, I can't breathe. Uh, NYPD officer Justin D. Amico testified in a judicial inquiry into his handling of that arrest. And he says, under oath, he did not hear Eric Garner say the phrase, I can't breathe even one time. He's saying, "Oh, I never heard it, not even one time. It, it, it never registered to me that he said, I can't breathe. Despite the full video, let's put up a picture of this officer. Let's make him famous, okay? That's Justin D. Amico. D. Amico was also questioned about an erroneous charge of felonious tax avoidance. A lot of people forget they actually charged him with this. A beat cop charged him with tax avoidance applied to Garner after he died. After he died, ladies and gentlemen. The officer testified, he, and I quote, may have rushed the paperwork a bit. Oh, That's the reason, I, I just rushed the paperwork a bit in accusing Gardner. Known to be a salesman of loose cigarettes, of a felony that is usually applied to people in possession of at least 10,000 cigarettes, 22,000 cigars, or more than 400 pounds of tobacco, the charge did not fit. He then says, but that was a total mistake. Due to the circumstances, I wasn't thinking clearly. That's right, D'Amico, you're the victim. I mean, you just killed a man. I mean, what do you expect him to think? He just committed murder in front of people in the city. He can't think clearly right now. He should have a pass, judge. Um, he admitted that he made other mistakes. In writing down the police officers, and uh, writing that police officers had used no physical force to arrest Gardner, the victim's mother, Grant Carr, uh, condemned the proceedings of the judicial hearing as nothing more than a pack of lies. Why in the hell is he able to get away with this? Why? Because there's a system and a culture that protects him. This makes no sense. This is still the United States of America. Where we have opportunity to expose this kind of corruption. Uh, attorney, I mean, you see this. He's lying on police reports. He's lying to the judge under oath. Why is this guy not charged with something additional? We need some more charges here. You keep hearing him say, I made a mistake. And the reason why he's doing that is falsifying a police report requires intent. And he's trying to say he didn't intend to do it, it was, and it was a mistake. And he certainly got more of a benefit of a doubt than I think if you or I had done something similar. Because like you said, that charge was kind of outrageous. He would have needed thousands of cigarettes, and I think he only had four packs. But he did receive that benefit of doubt, and, and that's what the problem is. And once again, the policy issue is this, the George Floyd Policing and Accountability Act would mandate a federal registry to report cops like him and others who act in such an egregious way. So that the public can review who is working for them. If the cops know your background, damn it, you should know theirs.